Listener warning. Everything about this podcast is offensive and often stupid. From the Midwest Gaming Classic, it's a beer and tis. It's a beer anticipation episode of Guys, Games, and Beer. Okay, before we get started with the show tonight, we have a, a show beer that uh, Noob and Noobet bought on their recent trip to Florida. What do we got here, guys? It is the uh, Contrapoglic Republic. Jeez, can't talk. Key lime wheat. Oh, why does that not sound good? I think okay, I'm going to regret okay, this. I'm, I don't I'm know. Gonna tell I don't you. know. I'm going to regret this. It's wheat. key it, lime wheat. It was the only brewery in that area where we could get a Florida beer. There's other breweries down there, but they just weren't selling in the area where we were staying. And it was it was ten bucks for a six pack. Here we go. Here we go. Let's try it, guys. It smells sweet. Okay, I'm just saying this is almost like a vice. Ooh, it is a vice. What did you say? It almost tastes like a vice. Like a. It's a weak. I'm getting banana. Banana off of this. Very close. You can get my banana off this. And I know we're brewing. That's usually a bad side. When it smells like banana. Good. This okay. is not it's a not bad beer. Right. Like All right, well, I'm, 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 I'm going to disagree with you guys, but let's see a show of thumbs. I think it's pretty good. Yes. I think it's pretty good. I, yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, you don't like it? Try this. Don't like what it. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I no. it's not a bad beer. I, oh, here, I'm not, not the down biggest down. fan of wheat beers. Usually, nah, but, I'm sorry. I'm okay. a big down. I'm down. Okay. All right. We have you, a big show tonight. So you yep. have to get us going. No, have you ever have you ever poured uh have you ever poured rubbing alcohol on a on a cotton ball and then just sucked it? Just sucked it. Yeah, that's what that tastes like. Sucked that's it. really, that's really what I'm getting. At. That's the flavor I'm getting here. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. So, what are we talking about tonight, Rob? Wait, tonight we are talking about no, not Larry, no, not tonight, Larry. We got a huge show. Damn it, drunken Larry, you're out of control, man. You're a wild man. Okay. All right. Tonight we're going to talk about the favorite thing you either saw or bought. At MGC, because I really do like to buy stuff in the vending hall, and I also like to see the strange stuff going on in this place. And so I'm part of the strange stuff you, that goes yeah, on in this yeah, place. I understand the, that no, you fully. You are the strange stuff going on yeah. in this place. All, All right. right. So why don't we start with the nooblies who are really, really hungry and might start biting us? That would be her. I'm good. I haven't eaten since breakfast. Uh, okay. So what, dead style. what did you see or buy that was so cool? Mine was neither of those. I dressed up for the cosplay contest this year, and freaking out, man, I got first place this year, Ooh, finally. Yeah. Okay. So You earned that first place. <laughs> so look at our Facebook page for, for pictures. She nailed it. I uh, dressed up as Rogue, Rogue from for X-Men sure. and everything, like the old style from the comics and arcade games and everything, so... Again, check the Facebook page. The, she literally nailed the costume. Still riding that earned, high. You earned that first place all the way. All right, so, noob. I haven't bought anything yet. No, you did. You bought me something. I bought you something? Beer? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. oh. I bet you bought her something else. Oh, yeah, I did buy stuff, yes. I was in the doghouse. <laughs> yeah, you were. Whoa. <laughs> so, uh, I had... I don't want to talk about it. It's no, okay. Man. Well, really, do, you need, do you need to talk about this? Story? No, 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 I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go down the Larry path and be like, well, first it started with me getting my. Oh, okay. Oh, now you guys don't want to hear about it, huh? Oh, no, okay. All right. You're doing a great job. But, all right, so I got in the doghouse, a great start. So I had to sneak off real fast and get to the vendor hall so I could pick up two stuffed animals. There were just any stuffed animals. There were Pokemon stuffed animals. There were Eevee and Amora. I hope I'm saying that name right. Yep. Travis, am I saying it right? Amora. Amora, yeah? Okay, thanks, man. Yeah, he, he referred to the expert over there. I know, I was going to say that, and I thought I shouldn't. Who, what? Thanks. He said Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I bought thus far. So far, no, so far. Nothing for me yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yet. right. So we're going to keep, wink, keep wink. going down the line. I'm going to have you pop up to the front here. All right. You introduce yourself and tell us where. Oh, well, we know who you're wearing. You're wearing that big t shirt that says, 
Pie Factory Podcast. Website on the back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let people see your website. All right, good. Now say your website. Uh, PieFactoryPodcast.com. So what have you seen or what are you looking for here? Or, or what have you bought? <laughs> I didn't really buy much of any. I did buy a Sega Sports Pad for my Sega Master System. Ooh, nice call. Uh, and actually, I prearranged that trade with somebody else on Atari Age. So that was nice. But uh, the most awesome thing I saw was across the hall at the Galloping Ghost, the Beavis and Butthead arcade game. Hell no. Right across the hall. Literally right across the hall. From Literally really? across yeah. the hall. And I did it, not see the Beavis and Butthead. It, it wasn't working. It wasn't working this today. morning, okay. but it but was working. It. It was a box with absolutely nothing in it. Exactly. No, so they no, got it up and no running. They got it up and running. That is crazy. I know. We gotta go see that. Yeah, we're gonna have to check that out. Apparently, Atari made twelve of them, and it never got out of never got out of prototype because that was the time they were bought by Midway, and Midway was like, if we didn't develop it, we're shelving it. Suck it, Atari. <laughs> So that's why it was never released, and quite yeah. honestly, it was one of the best games I've ever played. So you, you it's an excellent you game. You get some pictures of it, you put it on your website? I put it on the website. Okay, so it's on our if, Facebook page. If you guys want to see... Yeah. Oh, it's not on the website. If it is on the Facebook pictures, page. Go to their Facebook page, check out pictures. It is kind of a rarity, so kind of cool to see it up it, and running. And this is, I think, the first one that's actually ever going to be actually in an arcade at a physical location because after here it is going to be on the floor permanently at galloping ghost of brookfield illinois okay and if you happen to galloping ghost one of the best arcades around All right. according to guinness the largest one in the world is it not the largest last year they 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 named it the largest arcade in the world Dang. and it's gotten bigger since yes all right sweet so. sweet all right you take that one back you're next Next. You are next, evidently, because I believe we have a little more Pie Factory podcast oh, yeah, coming up. Those, those people back there. Yeah, you should actually face the camera and let. Hi, camera. All right, see, camera. All right. So, All right. Go, go ahead. All right, so I guess I can. Take you you this get one. you get that oh, mic now. So, what right. have you seen, bought, what? What have I seen, bought? Or what? Yeah. It's it's a hard decision because one of the most awesome things I ever saw was Drunk Larry. Oh. Oh, oh suck up, just suck I, up there. He is relatively cheap. Yeah, he that's is? True. Yeah. That is true. Okay. I haven't purchased him yet. Drunk and Larry for a podcast on the budget. Uh, exactly. <laughs> podcast on a budget, that's the best kind. You know, uh, actually, uh, actually, Drunk and Larry was going to be played by Bobcat Goldthwait. And uh, unfortunately, we lost him last minute before the show started. Well, what are you going to do? I know, right? I kind of have to so agree with him. Turned you down too? He's better, I yeah. think. I have to agree with that guy who likes to interrupt people. That, yeah, Beavis and Butthead is a pretty awesome game, and I can't wait to just bogart the thing at uh, Galloping Ghost Arcade. And uh, best thing I bought, the only thing I bought, to, well, actually, no. So have you played it? I've played it. We, we both played it. It is we awesome. played it. Yes. I tried to play it. Two-player mode. That's and uh, literally, the other player slapped my hand. Oh! It was, it was literally. Was that you? <laughs> they, they went, wham! And I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to do two player with you. You know, it's not I'm gonna take your deal. You know, Larry. Now, wait a minute. Did you did you rub them? No, no. I'm just like, hey, there was no inappropriate play, touching. Hey, hey. You sure? You, no inappropriate touching. I just went for the start button, and literally, wham! <laughs> this hand came out. It was. <laughs> for those of you who have never seen this podcast before, this is what I spent a lot of my damn time doing. Fight! Whoa! Wait, wait, is Larry over there? No. The hell, people? Can you walk up to the mic? Damn it, okay. The most awesome thing. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. I bought two things today. The awesome thing was a Atari 2600 homebrew cart called Explosive Diarrhea. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know damn well. I'm going to go home tonight. My wife's going to say, you bought that fucking Explosive Diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Pack Rat Games. Sweet store. Amazing stuff. He's got Explosive Diarrhea. No, he doesn't have it, but he has the cartridge available for your Atari 2600. Where are they located? They are currently located right next door to us. Right. But... But they are also located here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Pack Rat Games. They are a brilliant company. Look them up. They also have Vatrex Games, and they're awesome. And we will put a link to them. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, uh, and Odyssey 2. And Odyssey And Odyssey, yeah. Odyssey 2 as well. All right. There, that, that went better. Okay, so, all right. I will take that back from you. Uh, we're going we're gonna to have another podcast up. So we have some more buds here in the podcasting world. This is kind of like old home week for us. Um, so uh, you are with? 
Overdrive Reality. And tell us a little bit. Uh, give us your website first. Uh, OverdriveReality.com. All that's right. Simple, that's simple. Okay, so it's what nice. have you seen here this weekend? I've been looking forward to week for for weeks, and the Nintendo PlayStation. Oh. That's all I came to see. That, really, that's it. That's the yeah, whole well, reason. Well, not the entire show. I'm here, but okay, okay. I'm gonna say, wow. Week when the Midwest Game Classic posted on Facebook that it's gonna be here, I was like, dude, I just watched the gaming historian last week. He uh, a couple weeks ago he posted about this, and we had a Mortal Kombat two, tournament two in our room and I was standing outside and the guy was talking to me about uh, like he's like hey you got a radio voice I'm like I'm actually a monster truck announcer so that's why and he was like could you do a monster truck announcement for us yeah, yeah no could you do us on no wait wait take guys game to beer yeah do a monster truck all right, all right. yeah I want to hear this all right. ladies and gentlemen boys and girls who's ready for guys games and beers dot net right. okay, like it right, nice yeah. job very good okay keep going though sorry about and that and I'm standing next uh, I'm, I'm standing out there talking to the guy and his buddy's like do you have any idea who you're standing next to I'm like no he's like that's the guy that owns the Nintendo PlayStation that just played in your tournament right now right now oh I was like okay, that's oh cool. I was like that was pretty cool were you like mind blown I was mind yeah. blown and I Interesting to me, it's incredible because I never thought anything like this would exist. And I'm like, oh, now you're just standing right next to me, hanging out. And he's like, can I get a picture with you? I'm like, why me? You're the you're the big deal here this weekend. And the one thing that I spent money on, I spent two hundred fifty dollars on a Sega Genesis brand new in the box today. Ooh, Way to go! That is so, a good call. Sega Genesis One. Oh yeah, no, Heck yeah, uh, yeah. You, you've seen our, our collection over here. Yeah, yeah not, so, good call. Sonic the Hedgehog, nerd for life. So I want to thank, thank you guys for having me, and you guys are going to be on our show tomorrow. Yeah, awesome. We, we will pop up tomorrow. All right, I got. Thanks I gotta, for coming gotta, on. We got thanks, one more thanks. podcast I'm going to bring up here right now, gentlemen. <laughs> what's the next podcast? Hey, what's going on? Bro? Hey, hey. So. <laughs> So this, These guys have been drinking our see. beer all freaking weekend. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, so so, so seeing as you're drinking, your, you've drank the beer. Now you need, now you need to earn that beer. So. Great. No, yeah, I'm Nick. You are with. Yeah, give your podcast story. first. The of, yeah, the name of the podcast is Settle It on the Screen. I'm here. Uh, I'm Nick. This is Glenn. Uh, we also do it with Mike Sorokin. We have no idea. We lost him. Our other calls. I have no idea. Oh, just kind of wandered away. We have no idea. Yeah. We have this problem. Yeah, no, it happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we have this problem all the time. <laughs> yes. yeah. He started drinking, and he, he basically uh, yeah, it, it, it really it, it, it was quick. It was <laughs> five minutes after our show. We did a live show about an hour ago that Rob was on, and, yeah. and, and, and pretty much he was gone. After yeah, four, which right. is fine. Whatever. But. I was like a deer in headlights, by the way. I, oh, you were oh, fine. We're just hey. Well, we kind of were accosting people, and that's just kind of we the way we do were, stuff. Man. It's like, oh, hey, you. you well, want to be on the show, which is a rhetorical no, you, question. What you mean is just you're inappropriately touching them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They so cost, it's all a costing, inappropriate touching, same it's the difference. Same thing. Right. So, Rob, I noticed you were touching that other person over there. Uh, what's that about? <laughs> oh. All right. Ah! So, good time. one more time. Give, give, time. give the website of your of your podcast. Uh, it's settled oh, it on the screen is the name of the podcast. Okay. We broadcast every other Friday night on uh, Twin Galaxies Live. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, Twin Galaxies. Yep, we have friends on Twin Galaxies. Mm -hmm. so, yes. Sleepless doesn't do that. Yeah. No, but uh, so, oh, I was not going to bring that up. We have we have our own friend. Oh, oh. that goes with the tariffs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That kind of, it's for friend, friends, and enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Feelings hurt. Yeah. Feelings hurt. Feelings hurt. Easy. I didn't yeah, want to yeah. Do it, All right, sure. continue. So, no, it's yeah. Like I said, every other Friday, um, ten Eastern, seven Pacific. But uh, yeah, the website. We also have a uh, settled on the screen Twitch channel. Also, so oh, awesome. like tonight, we were doing it on our Twitch channel. They were rebroadcasting on Twin Galaxies, really? but we also do other stuff by ourselves. So all your stuff is live. Yeah, we like yeah. to do pretty much everything live. Tonight was live. Which too. is really pretty brave. It was. Uh, yeah, 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 you are brave. Oh, we around here episode, with this group, that's dangerous. Episode. Yeah, I hate you live. Know, yeah, live is a. We yeah. thrive on it <laughs> mainly, <laughs> which is. Yeah. I got to tell them the story about the first episode. Okay, I don't so, even know. Like, all the Skype technologies that Twin Galaxies bought and paid for was a was like a prototype. It did, you know? AKA. Yeah. Oh, and they paid for it. Too, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they paid for it. So, like, they're like, test this out on your show for like your first show like coming back and like you guys have been doing this for like 10 years and then non-live we did yeah. non-live for yeah, like the first five years of the show okay. and then they're like hey, we're gonna do it live and just go for it like, right okay and then, <laughs> and then yeah we we did it live and then it was my first show doing it, it ever was, yes. and this is like total deer in the headlights like their skype prototype didn't work <laughs> not, and I, not I even remote. what I couldn't Look. get connected with you in 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have this current problem every other Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we couldn't get connected and then we did we had to do the podcast where I did the first 45 minutes by yourself, right? Yeah, okay. by myself. <laughs> I forgot about that. And I had no <laughs> world record announcements to make because Mike yeah. had them all and he would flash them up on the screen. Oh. So, 
Yeah, I had to do the first 45 minutes, and then you guys came in just pretty much to say goodbye. (laughs) I'm pretty sure there's days that each person on our podcast wishes they could do 45 minutes alone. Yeah, Larry Larry actually does get to do 45 minutes alone sometimes. I'm going to get back on topic, though. So what is the thing you've looked for, seen, bought, or done here that's really above everything else? We have the same opinion. We really do, because we did independent. We both talk to each other about it. And huh? went, oh, you saw it. Oh. All right, so what did you see? <laughs> so it's, it's the Spectre Files, I believe. It's one of the prototype games uh, across the way at Galloping Ghost. Oh, I'm not How seeing it How are we yet. not seeing somebody who's right across the street because and we're we visiting? Like, we're working here. All right? Yeah, Continue. The, the Beavis and Butt is mad at that. Like, no, like, Beavis and Butt is cool, too, cool. but yeah, the Spectre Files is... It, what it is, it's kind of like a, it was a Dragon's Lair. It's a video game. Yeah. Like a vi- video game. Laser disc laser type. Laser disc game. It was a laser disc game that was cool, fully shot and everything because it was shot on 16 millimeter. It's like a campy 80s horror movie. Like a choose your own adventure thing. Ooh. But because of the laser disc technology, it was a terrible design. So they just scrapped it completely. So they met up with the original maker of it and put it together so whatever it finishes but they have a prototype of it over there and it's just if you love 80s can't be horror it's like the best game oh my god ever I, i'm so interested okay to I, this thing. We no, have, i'm gonna have to go to the arcade specifically to, to play that game. yeah we're, we're gonna we're gonna have to check that out it's tomorrow awesome. yeah it's all right, really all right. cool all right we're on that all right gentlemen one more time your website uh, it's, it's That's twi- Twitch. It's a Twitch page. Just settle it on the screen. And you can also find you on every other Friday on uh, TwinGalaxiesLive.com. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank All you. right. And thanks. Let's see who we're gonna take. Wait. This. We're gonna take Matt. Next. Now, come on. Wait. Wait. Oh, no. no, 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 no I'm uh, sorry. Wait. Hold on, Matt. No, no. You're next. You're next. Oh, you're next. Yeah. You're next. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. So he's. Okay, so we've been doing this for four years. He's been doing this forever. Um, I feel like we should clap himself. every time someone... My name is Brandon, uh, also known as the Deaf Guy. Shameless plug. I'm the regional manager for Game Center in Kentucky. You can find our stores all over the state. Come visit us. All How's right. the weather in Kentucky? 80 degrees and I drove into this. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, we are so sorry about that. Okay. But it was worth it. What have you seen or what has been your big find this weekend? My big find and one of the greatest things I've seen personally for myself was I was able to find a test system for the PS2 that I purchased for myself. And there is a huge, oh yes, Travis, and there he goes. Here we go. Okay, go ahead and get it. Keep going. It's like you like trip the trigger. And the cool thing is my 17-year-old daughter had one before me, so she beat you too. And she has a very huge collection of games for it, all of which, like she does to me, I'm going to take from her. Um, so, the, the cool thing about the PS2 test system is that it's non-region locked. It's non-region locked. Technically, you can use burn discs on it. Also yes, you can. Copy protected. That's Not that anybody here would ever do that. Uh, you know, oh, no. Some, none of us would ever do that. No. <laughs> you can do home brews and stuff. Yeah. You can do home brews, exactly. <laughs> yes. It's an open exactly. system, and that's why it's, it's very cool. open. Very nice. And yeah. some of the best games for it are all so PAL much, region. How much well, since I'm very good friends with the vendor, I pay 200 for it. Oh, God, that's a Guess how much I paid for mine. <laughs> yeah, I know what you paid for yours. Go ahead. What did you pay? 75 Oh, wow. Travis has got this talent. Did you? I buy things for nothing. He really is. Travis Everybody. Is Were you wearing knee pads at the time? Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> All right. All right, Matt, you're up next. Where do we lose Matt to? I'm ready. Thanks. All right. All right, Matt. Hello. Hey, Matt. Hi, Matt. Hi. I barely know you. Who are you? Oh, I'm I'm Matt. <laughs> I've been around. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you have been, been around, Matt. Been around, Matt. You have Some, been sometimes. I'd probably know you better. <sighs> oh, did that? Wasn't you? That's well, that was an uncomfortable that, moment. Yeah, it was for everyone involved. All right, I think. All right, yeah, me too. I'm gonna so, okay. So, what did you find? Um, I found an Xbox, which I've wanted for a really long time because it was another one of those systems where you know it was i was around the teenager age and wanted one but never got one so i got one and i picked up both of the knights of the old republic games for it nice. so nice. pretty excited to go home and just play that forever yeah that's it You're done. he's done he's that's gone. it well at least for the next like 40 hours of gameplay time yeah. that i have in my schedule coming up i i do want to have a short a really short discussion with you about something okay i I think it i think all gamers in here can understand this feeling Uh, we ran into each other a lot (laughs) on on the shopping floor yeah how many times should you greet your friends on the shopping floor when you're obviously going in different directions (laughs) once 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 once, once. Once. we greeted each other 
about three times before we just said, screw we, it. This we're is we're it. Just we like, can't do it anymore. Oh, it's you again. Okay, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. no once. You greet them once, and then if you see them, you sneak up and slap their ass. Oh, well, we do that. that was the next he few times. Very so I think we did do it right. I am very yes. aggressive. He is very aggressive. That's true. He is an aggressive man. Spark him in there. That is a good find. Yeah. That was a good find. All right, nice Travis, job. you're up next. Okay. So uh, Midwest Gaming Classic this year, uh, there are two types of people who shop at the vendor hall. All the people who line up, um, wait for it to open in the first minute. Uh, and then there are people like me who are vultures and wait till Sunday. Um, and then they're like, oh, hey, I, uh, I don't want to bring all this stuff home. I will cut you a deal. So uh, the only thing I picked up today was um, I was supposed to pick up a Genesis because mine had a broken uh, headphone jack on the front. And uh, I ended up meeting with somebody uh, on Craigslist who was selling a copy, uh, Gen 1 Genesis, as well as Zombies Ate My Neighbors. for. F Whoa. And they were, they, they're, their asking price was $45, which was reasonable. That was that, that was a good, oh, that's no, a good that's price. A steal. The cartridge Again. alone's worth $45. Again, good price. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to go pick this up. I need it for the show. It was a two-hour drive. So I left. I left the show here while we were setting up. I was like, I have to go get this because you know it's a good deal. And uh, I was on my way there. I texting the guy back and forth. We're finding out where we're gonna meet. He has the cartridge. He has the Genesis. It's been sitting for a month. I thought maybe he sold it, but he was very responsive, awesome. Uh, and on my way there, he's like, I mentioned I was gonna be in Mo I was Milwaukee all weekend, and that's where I was coming from. He's like, oh, I'll be in Milwaukee tomorrow. We can meet up. I'm like, great. And then I text him on nowhere. I was like, you're not having to go by the Midwest Gaming Classic, are you? And he's like, yeah, totally. I'm a total total arcade collector. And I was like, oh, that's convenient. So. Uh, um, he ended up beating me here today, so I didn't have to drive four hours, and uh, I was going to give him 50 because, again, I didn't have change, and I was like, here, you know, I was going to spend more on gas anyway, I gave him 50, and he's like, no, I'll just take it for 40. And I was like, are you, are you serious? And I'm like, no, you don't have to. Yeah, I was like, I was like, no, you, you don't have to, and I was like, yeah, no, no, I'll just take 40. And I got uh, Genesis uh, cables and Zombies Ate My Neighbors for 40 bucks. So, not a, not a bad deal today. So, uh, okay, no, that's an awesome deal. Very, very, uh, again... Very happy with uh, the crowd here, and uh, I will definitely be on the vendor floor tomorrow. So, awesome. Okay, so you're looking for those pickup deals. All right. Okay, let's see who's next. Forrest, you're next. All right, so Forrest. Okay, so first of all, Bowers Game give your, Corner. Bowers Game Corner, we review board games, blah, blah, blah. Give you your website. No, we got a YouTube channel. Right, Bowers Game Corner. YouTube channel. Bowers Game Corner, it's at YouTube. He but, does amazing game. Uh, uh, all right, since he won't do it himself. Yeah. Okay, uh, we gotta talk, we gotta, oh, wait, we got to talk about it. He is linked prominently on our website at www.guysgamesatbeer.net. You can see it right there on our YouTube station. We also have a link to his station because we love him. It's okay. And, and it's okay. Amazing, amazing game reviews. So, uh, obviously, I'm going to talk about a board game. The thing I bought, though, is I bought a Batman cape for my three-year-old son. It's amazing! It's you were, silk! You were like, you're like, happy oh, oh yes. I didn't see that yet. you got to show that to me. It, it's pretty good. It's it got a cape. Mask, right? But I did try... Yes, it a does. Cowl. A cowl. It's not a I'm mask. I did a try cowl. a game today, and I tried out uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, the board game. It is absolute horseshit. Oh. It, is, it is terrible. It's got a broken oh. system, but that was what I was very excited about, because I got a chance to try it. It's got 3D components, so it looks amazing when you look at it. There's like roller coasters on the board. You're like, oh, what is that? But it's actually pretty terrible. Oh. So I've got Batman Cape. I tried a terrible game, but I've had a great time playing games. And uh, the one thing I did try, Oculus Rift. Uh, there's there's a couple guys who are doing some really three dimensional stuff. They're hoping to get on Steam, where they're trying to do a Skyrim esque role playing game. With uh, oh, it, it's incredible. But the thing is, they're one of the first people there because it's it's really a race right now. Who can get out one of the first right. RPGs on the? Uh, and not just a rigged one. Yeah, I mean, yes. a real RPG. RPG. Right. And they're working on it. It was spectacular. I was stacking crates and I was knocking stuff over. I saw a little kid who uh, did not have the thing strapped onto his hand, and he just threw the controller oh, at the oh, wall. Oh, oh, oh. But that's how realistic it was that he was throwing things at the wall. Hundred dollars. Yeah, components. But yes, <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. So virtual reality board. Board games, MGC, loving it. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and take Ryan. Why don't you come here, Ryan? Yeah, stop drinking your beer. God, hurry up, Ryan. Come on, come on, come on. He gets really angry. He does. I know. He was. I know. I didn't have to put the beer down. I said stop drinking it for a moment. All right. So, Ryan, what have you seen, and what are you looking forward? Uh, oh, have you seen anything? I have only seen this room. All my purchasing is going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I'll probably be looking for something for my ColecoVision or Intellivision. They do just have, see what's out there. Yeah, uh, 
there is a, again check out Pack Rat Games so next door. You didn't, yep. You didn't even hit the pinball. No, I the, I hit this room and haven't left. <laughs> this room and the bathroom are uh, uh, about. Okay, I, I, I have plenty of time tomorrow to to I, 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 to, to do. Don't feel bad, right <laughs> don't feel bad okay. at all. No, this no, is a lot of fun. Actually, actually, actually right watching now. people play the Oculus Rift, Rift is, it's fun to watch people sit in front of these devices, look around, play the games. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, we've had we've had we have been packed this weekend. I mean, oh yeah, it's amazing how many people are. Little kids, adults, that. everything. Yeah, it's yeah. Being in front of them, it's it's it's, it's a lot of fun. Cool, cool, cool. All right, all right, Tyler. Oh, you're up. By the way, if you would like to, uh, if you would like to volunteer for guys' games and beer, it's volunteer at guys' games. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I actually didn't get too much game-wise this year. I was looking around, didn't see anything specific I wanted. I did pick up Soul Reaver for five bucks. It was a good deal. I was like, hell yeah, because I apparently lost my copy somehow. And um, I got Left 4 Dead Wait, 2. Uh, okay, yeah. I got Left 4 Dead 2 for Xbox 360 because I was just reading they added it to uh, backwards compatibility for Xbox One. So I'll probably start playing that again. And the other thing is I have a problem and I started buying more figurines for Star Wars because I can't stop. I can't stop. Yeah, you need to stop, though. I mean, you, I, I no, so no, wait. he's no longer buying main characters. He's buying, like, like um, the like, random droids in Jabba's Palace and yeah, things. Okay. I have a problem. So he's kind of taking it to the next level. That reminds me of yeah. getting the boss action figure. The guy that is in, like, exactly 30 seconds of any film ever. And, yeah, exactly. And that's the kind of figure... The droid was in it for, like, that. 10 seconds, but I, I know, wanted but it. I want that. I've got to have that droid. I need to buy more shelves, too, now. Shit. I know, I know. You'll never have enough shelves. All right. What's, it? What's the name of the red droid in Star Wars? All right, so, Jonah, you're next. Jo hey, jo no, 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 you Jonah, and then Jonah, just you. you can, yeah, of course. You are coming up you are, are you a team? Right, wait a minute. Evidently, Joey, evidently you're a package. Okay. It's a okay. team ever. So, so it's evidently he's a package. No, I want to talk to you too because I've known you guys for a little while. No, no you haven't. Just a little while. Yeah, you're not my real dad. Like bird. Oh. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, what? keep going. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Continue, please. All right, so what was your favorite thing? Or thing you purchased or saw? Um, well, I want to start off with what we wanted to see. Uh, last year we played a lot of this game called Killer Queen. Oh, God. And, uh, we really wanted to see it here, but sadly, it wasn't here. We that, looked was everywhere. That, the, uh, that was the, the Joust. Yeah, it was like, like the Joust uh, game, right? Joust game, yeah. I heard Big thing, really 4v4. Yeah, it was great. That was but it wasn't here. Um, we really haven't checked out a lot of the, the rooms and stuff, so um, we wanted we want to go check out the HTC Vibe. Um, that's somewhere upstairs. In our old room. Yeah. We just totally told somebody that that wasn't here. Wait, you didn't? You Wait, did? No, you did? thought it wasn't here. That's here. It's, it's here. Is it here? Yeah, it's yeah. here. Oh, you're not realizing it's here. Yeah, yeah the, across from our room. Oh, you're across. Yeah. thinks it's my room because I have the word reality in it. Okay. But it's not my room. <laughs> oh. All right, good to know. Oops. Oops. Bad information. Correction. That never happens on guys' games and beer. No. Let's do, do a correction. There is an HTC Vive here, evidently. I you want, you want to correct that? Or, or, or no. We were in error earlier. Evidently, there is an HTC Vive up on the first floor, across from where we used to be located in yep. the uh, hotel. So, yeah. Oops. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Sorry. Oops. Continue. Uh, um, I we didn't really pick up anything. A lot of things were pr a little bit pricey here, but uh, some um, some things more than others. Uh, yeah, yeah. I need both. Um, He's a soft but, <laughs> but um, what's it? What was it called? I picked up a cloud poster for like 20 bucks. That thing which was is, Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty big, too. Um, that's what she said. Oh! He is my son. You do, know, you do realize your mom will eventually watch this episode. Yeah, but okay. she, she'll laugh. She'll okay, laugh. Okay, It'll, be she'll laugh. She'll laugh. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I was just going to put that out there. It'll be fine. It would really be inappropriate as if I said that to your boss. Uh, oh! Oh! Right. Right. You also realize his mom's going to watch this episode. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't hear your okay, okay, okay. I don't know about that guy. But his is like, well, she wants the best boy possible, so, you know. Oh, what? Okay, Larry. <laughs> All right. Drunken Larry, stage one. <laughs> St no, okay, stage so three. Can, what can sense did that make? <laughs> Let's get back on track here, okay? That's true. We're going down a creepy rabbit hole. All right. That's it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> creepy rabbit hole. 
Freezing, Tom. Freaking freezing. Okay, okay. That's all I had to say. I don't know if you wanna, if you wanna say anything. Know. Contribute, Hi, Joey. Oh, contribute Joey. to the Joey. the conversation. Really, you, were, you were, you literally got to the vendor hall before everyone else this morning. Oh, yeah, I did. did. I did, did line okay. up, and then when they finally let me through, when I was waiting for them to drop the rope, I had to sit by two complete nutheads singing the whole time. <laughs> so I had to put earphones in, and they were still singing and whistling the whole time. It drove me crazy. But <laughs> Joan and I did end up winning the Halo 4 champion or tournament Good over job. there. First place. Yeah. Representing G2B, everyone. Yay. Yay. Okay, I clap. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Pretty much. Pretty cool. All right. That yeah. is pretty cool, actually. Win. Will's getting nice. Right. Mel? Oh, yeah, gotta come on. Oh, Mel. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. We'd like our secretary to come up. That's a, go wow! Yeah, Whoa. you could have really, you could have just. Oh, Larry. Are you skipping Larry? <laughs> really, Larry? Thank you. Yeah, she's the werewolf, evidently. All right, come here. I got nothing to say. No, Mel. Are you, is yeah, have you not seen anything? Invaluable. To this weekend. The one thing I wanted was too much money. Okay. Wow. Well, tell people what it was and how much it was. I'm gonna mispronounce it again. Um. Duck upon kingdom. Don't, don't, yeah. Yes, Ooh, and, and, and it's a good call in the game. It's, you got it wanted for the Wii, right? Like, yeah. How much was it? <laughs> one we found two. Yeah. One was one hundred and twenty dollars. One was ninety. Ouch. Yeah. yeah. That is way too much. You are yeah. correct. I want to mention that that is not actually. It's uh, the vendor hall this year. Uh, I've heard some people complaining about pricing like that. Um, it, it's kind of it's kind of a mixed bag. Uh, there are some really good prices to be had in the vendor hall still. Uh, there's also some uh, very eBay-ish prices. Yeah. I'm not complaining. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I know you're not I, complaining. I'm not complaining. It's just out of my price range. No, I, <laughs> That's and, and, it, and it also depends. I heard a lot of haggling on the floor. And if you're willing to haggle, you probably can do a little better. You can probably like I like a post to posted price. I like to go, how much is that? Oh, that's this much good. Well, I got that. You, I'm good. you don't like games? All right. No. Haggling is a game. No, it's not it's a game. game. No, it's, work. It's, a game. it's work. I do enough work but, already. But, I don't need but, to haggle. But, but before <laughs> Mel takes up, I just want to thank her for all the work that she oh, put in for all Please this. You know? she, is, Every uh, yeah. she has worked way too hard this weekend. That is so not true. Every Everyone in GTP has worked really hard. So. Well, you know, you, you, again, you are a, a, you are an extra, and we appreciate even more. Her, earlier today. Oh, earlier today. Wow, nice job, guys. Nice job. I know. Earlier today. Earlier today, Rob goes. I like that we have like an office department. <laughs> and it's. <laughs> we have office supplies. <laughs> All right. I just oh, see, mic. so before before Chris does this, he's been supplying us with all sorts of delicious beer all this weekend long. Thank you. So, Chris, what have you seen? Well, being the key master of MGC, uh, I saw no wait ticket lines this year. Yes! yes. The first year ever. Yeah, that's amazing. It, it was, it was. I mean, vendors were coming up to me and saying, Dude, we've had a constant stream of people all day, and I'm like, you're welcome. <laughs> no, no, yeah, you, no, you are. So, so for those of you who aren't familiar with MGC, it gets so busy here. When they open first thing Saturday morning, I used to have to wait 30 minutes to an hour yeah. to get my band. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This morning, literally no wait ticket lines. We had people here. It was 10 o'clock. They opened literally right away. Yeah. People were in the vendor line. People were right down here. There was no wait. Everybody was boom, 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 boom right through. That's never happened. In my entire time of doing this, it's really amazing. Dan and Gary came to me a couple months ago, and they said, uh, we want you to run our ticketing. And I said, oh, great, because I already have a map laid out for how it should be. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was pretty dirty. It's been in the back of my head yeah, for a couple dirty. months. And so, um, yeah, so I said, this is how we should do it. And then I woke up today, and I'm like, oh, take a shower, have some breakfast. I walked downstairs, and I'm like, no, that's all wrong. We have to change it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're kidding. So I changed it. We started a little late, but we knocked everybody into the place was, by 10 o'clock. It was really good. It was perfect. I mean, absolutely flawless. Oh, right. thank so, you. No, thank you. Uh, and thank you for, again, the guys have been with all sorts of amazing beers all weekend long. So <laughs> I get a lot of beer at work. My real job. Herding cats or herding geeks? Which is tougher? Oh, that's a good call. 
nerds. Considering everyone watching this is a geek, I'm going to go with cats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Oh, okay. So, we still got a few more people to go yet. We're almost done, all right? Yes, do. Guys, back there. You coming up? You try it? Come on, come on, come on. So these are these are these are some uh, some G2B and MGC veterans. So we definitely have to get them on camera. So this is our, our big winner from last year at our contest. It's the only thing I've ever won in my life. And it was you won some really cool stuff. I did. Won the box of awesome last year. Okay, so also got us out of trouble with the cops. Thanks. Yeah. By the way, we really no, we really do appreciate that. Okay. Okay. So introduce yourself. I am Misty. I'm Joe. And you guys are with the podcast. They're just. Get. We're just here. Yeah, having a show. good time. Actually, two okay. episodes ago, they were on. There's time delay. Just, oh okay. yeah. Okay. Don't right. want to discombobulate. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, were they? Oh, they were actually. You were yeah, they, two episodes. Okay. According so, to this, yes, it was two. Yeah. All right. So, what have you seen? What are you looking for? Have you saw, found something? Bought something yet? Yes, I did. Like Travis, I like to wait until Sunday to get the, the most for my money. But today, I did get Kid Icarus, which on for the NES. And I have been looking. It was the only one that I don't have for my collection. Childhood favorite game. And I wish I had kept all my friggin' notebooks that had all the codes. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I had had them. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, but we've had a good time. Good, 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 good. This is the best. We are G2B. We, we drink a lot. We have a good time with it. And how about you? Uh, you know, I didn't buy anything for myself. I just no, bought oh, the you game. You hooked up on Kid Icarus. I, I hooked her up on Kid Icarus, right? Actually, these days have so. to save up for that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How much did you guys have to the chat? 20. Oh, you got a steal. $20? Yeah. You got a good deal. You got a good deal. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, you, that was not bad at all. There, there were a few copies out there. That was the cheapest one. We literally yeah. checked every table and then went back. Yeah, yeah, 20 bucks. That a good actually call. makes me yeah. want to buy it. Uh oh, all right. Yeah, I think the, most, the, the one we saw that was the most was 30. Yeah. yeah. That had the book it had the with book. it, oh, you know? So, yeah. I was really expecting to fair price. Yeah, I was too, because it's a great game. It, it is. really is a great game. Yeah. All right, I think we are coming down to the end here. We have Larry. We, oh, of course we don't. No, no, we're going to do Drunken Larry. We'd not miss no, Drunken really Larry. Not. Come on. We're All right, Larry, come Larry. here. Come on, Larry. Larry, Larry, Larry. Yeah. So, um, this is a video game convention. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Yeah, it's true. It's true. I love you. I just freaking love you. I, I feel like that, that will come clearer when I talk about how I purchased all these really great board games. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, Windy City, which is uh, uh, I'm already known to Chicago, Windy City Gaming. Yes, yes. Uh, they have I decided don't know to. Website exactly, but it is windy. It's actually Windy Gaming. Windy Gaming. Okay, I'm sorry, Windy Gaming, but they are out of Chicago. Amazing. Nerd pack. Yeah, it was Windy Gaming. <laughs> and I, I, amazing selection. I don't even know. They've they've decided to um, change up their store. And so they're get, getting out of it. They're getting out of the board game, and they're just going to focus on the video game. Yeah. Fine. So they're blowing their stock out. Oh, nice. So I found uh, a few games from a Mayfair Games, and uh, ten bucks a piece for these games. Normally go for about forty. Uh, was able. <laughs> So there were deals to be had. There you were know? deals to be there had. There were deals to be had. Normally these go for about. 35 40 when you go to a normal yeah, yeah, uh, no, no. game I mean, store most, most game conventions right yeah. exactly and so and and the one it's funny now this one this one was only six and uh six i want to yeah six dollars and you know, what sold me on it is the guy goes you know you can play that solo right it's, it does say right on the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, so harken back to one of our earlier episodes about what is a true game against the board. This is a game against the board. You can play two player. If you play two player, it's going to be cooperative. If otherwise, you're playing one player against the board. So I thought, oh, yeah, that, that would be good. Because, hey, I got a lot of great friends. But they're not always around. So, and I still want to play games. So, there good we go. Uh, there we go. All right, good finds. Very good finds. All right. So, Rob, we should probably wrap this up and take this episode out. I believe we should, but I do want to say one more PSA before we wrap Please do. For the night. Um, when you are sitting in line, when you are looking at a game, please, if you want to reference the price of the game, do not stand in front of the games 
check your cell phone. That is wrong. You step away from the games and check the freaking cell phone. I don't know how many times lines oh, today, have been held up. Today. People are just sitting there. Oh, I got bad signal. Look at, please, just be respectful of other gamers. Get out of the way if you're looking something up. You can get back. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. All right. Okay. So, now, so one thing more. One thing. Two things more. We have to do. So we have to talk about a very special friend. Bring it in here, guys. Got, no, not you guys. You, you guys. You, Travis. Me? Yeah. You. All right. Me? Yeah. We. Uh, so what? Who, what did we have this weekend that was extra special? Besides that beer, that. Yes. Huh? Talk about the beer. Okay. So uh, our our buddy uh, Ken has been very very kind. Uh, he brewed us ten gallons of beer and brought it down all the way from Minnesota, uh, and we happened to polish that off in an entire e one evening. It was gonna be the show beer tonight. It was gonna be. Didn't make it to tonight. We're we're oh. we're supposed to name a beer that doesn't exist. We were supposed to name it on our show. No, no, we're gonna name it anyways. Okay? We're gonna. I want to name it. Okay. No, no. no, Larry no. cannot name the IPA because it is vulgar and disgusting. Okay. I do want to say that we will mention Larry's, Larry's, Larry's name. All right. We'll, we'll mention it, but cover your ears if you're sensitive. Okay, let's start with what Rob wants to call the IPA first. I think Drunken Gamer IPA sounds like a real winner to me. All right, so. Uh, okay, so guys, Drunken Gamer IPA. For those of you who didn't taste it, it doesn't matter, but how about the rest of you? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, a right. that's a very generic name. That's generic. We're gonna be hoes because you know. Yeah, the, the, the Larry's name's gonna win, you know. Okay. <laughs> Larry, so, could you bring oh, up wait, wait. No, so wait, wait, no. not yet. No. All right, all right. Larry, 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 what did you yes, think sir. the IPA should be called? Okay, so the the IPA um, was not a strong IPA. Uh, it it not very hoppy. It not super hoppy. In fact, but it was delicious. A lot of the people who delicious. don't like hops went, "Oh, I like this IPA." Yeah, you know, and it's like, and I love hoppy IPAs, and I went, "Yeah, you know, it's good, but it's just not." Happy. And in fact, I I was talking to Ken the Brewer, and he goes, "Yeah, I'm a little disappointed." You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's it's it, it he he wanted it with a little more bite. I know. But a little harder. All right, so you and so, you so I decided to call it Soft Tits IPA. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, the name's Soft Tits. Some people like Soft Tits. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ken, I'm so sorry. Your IPA is now called Soft Tits IPA. Don't let, guys, don't let guys games of beer name your stuff. All right, okay. <laughs> but we also had a red, and Kelsey came up with the name for the red. I'm kind of good with this because it was a little on the sweet side. So this was a, a red ale, and she came up with G2B Juice. Yeah, I like that one. G G juice? G I don't know. She said, no, I, know. I think she called it G2B no, Juice. Good with right. G2B Juice for a red? Show a thumbs? Uh, okay. Kelsey, our naming, you're. Our naming conventions are not great. Yeah, well, no, yeah, come on, we're drunk. Let's, let's stick to drinking. Okay, beer, all right, we, naming. all right, all right. Let's do that. I'm good with that. All right, so we are. So Ken, thank you so much for all the beers you brewed. They were amazing. Appreciate it. Everybody loved it. Thank Literally, you, we went through ten gallons last night of your beer. That's how good it was. All right, all right, Rob, take us out. All right. I think we've learned a lot in this episode of Guys Games of Beer. We've learned things like. We probably shouldn't have like 20 people on an episode. We did 37 last year. This is pretty good. <laughs> We're getting better. This is a lot smoother than We're last year. We're still only at minute 43. We're fine. We are good, actually. That's pretty good. <laughs> Bonus. Bonus. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. All right. And what else have we learned, Rob? Don't let Larry name beer. Don't we let Larry learned, name beer. We learned that there's really a reason why we record this with a shotgun mic because nobody can remember to handle the actual mic when they're talking. Do you agree with that? I, I do agree with that. Number three. Never ever let guys games and beer name your freaking beer. That is probably not the best idea on earth. I don't know, I feel like winning. <laughs> and one more thing. Thank you very much for watching episode 200 of Guys Games. 200 episodes! Bring it up, guys! Yo! Yeah! God, we've been doing this for you fucking ever. You can at www.guysgamesandbeer.net. On Facebook, we get free game giveaways, all sorts of crazy <laughs> stuff going on. You can talk to the guys directly because we are always on Facebook because we're losers and we're lonely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. It's sorry, true. wrong character. Okay, that was yeah, natural, no, Rob. yeah, that yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> G2B Rob, because we're awesome. Uh, <laughs> Normally on Periscope. That's Periscope, you can actually talk to us. Slash guys, games, and beer. 
on Periscope. It is www.periscope.com slash guys, games, and beer. You get, yeah, you get, you get, yeah, you get the idea yeah, on all this? There's one place where this doesn't happen. It's on Twitter where we're at guys, games, and beer. I really Guys, games, it. beer. No and, no and. Give me another drink. Yeah, have another beer, Rob. Give me that. I do it every freaking week, and I get it wrong here. All right. Well, just for the sake of uh, just for the sake of old times, we've right. been a long time. Oh, he's got the phone. Yes. Goodbye, everybody. Good job. Yeah.